you're failing to see the practical implications here. Oh, I'm not. I think that my conclusion is clearly the one that makes the most practical sense. Based on what? Based on everything I just told you. I think you need to accept the fact that of the two of us, I'm the one who has more experience in this field, so my conclusion is to be trusted more. Oh, just because you have more experience doesn't mean that I'm incapable of rationalising to a correct conclusion. Well, I know that the consequences are going to be dire for you if you don't heed my advice. Fine, let me hear your thoughts one more time. The vase needs to go here because it has direct access to the sunlight through the sunroof while providing an aesthetic experience for anyone who walks through that door. No, the vase needs to go here because it still has access to the sunlight while also framing this picture nicely and conveniently being next to this picture of a watering can, thus providing whoever's looking at it with a reminder to water whatever plant is in here. Okay, where's some paper? I need to draw a diagram. Wow, this is such a nice house. Yeah, thanks. Cool music. Yeah, these are some of my favorite piano covers. Awesome. Okay, so, should we define this relationship? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the last few weeks I've really enjoyed spending time with you. Is this a cover of La La Land? You bet it is. Okay, the last few weeks I've really enjoyed spending time with you and I really love if we could... Okay, are you my boyfriend? Yep, you're my girlfriend. Yep. I think about that day I left him at a grey house station west, west of Santa Fe. We were 17, but he was sweet and it was true. Still I did what I had to do. Cause I just knew. Summer Sunday. Listen to this email. Dear friends, hope you all had a good weekend! Exclamation mark. Sorry to be so pushy. Sad face. But final numbers were due yesterday and I still haven't received them all. I'm sorry if I wasn't clear in my instructions. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Peace and love, Jenny. Ugh, oh, cringe. <sighs> Just tell me what you really want from me and I'll do it. I reckon it's time to go off the grid. Seriously, it's totally possible these days to be completely self-sufficient. Grow your own produce, ditch technology, build your own tiny house from a shipping container. You've told me that one before. I don't need you to tell me what I've told you before. Hey, the idea's great, but you'd do it differently. I don't need you to finish my sentences. Did you end up going to the grocery store? No, I found some two-minute noodles in the pantry. Cool. How was your day? Yeah, good, thanks. I did the St. Vinny's doorknock appeal today. Wow! Yeah, there was this sweet little family who invited me inside for cookies. We ended up talking about... Wow, he's really doing a lot of good in the world. Why do I feel so unvaluable? Is me talking about this making you feel a little bit unvaluable? What? Oh, no, it's fine. How was your day? It was good. I caught up with your sister for lunch and we went shopping for Mother's Day. Yeah, well, she's really spending a lot of time with my family these days. Are they starting to value her more than me? Is me talking about this making you fear that your family values me more than you? What? Oh, no. She, she knows, knows me too well. well. Knock, knock. Oh, this is a nice surprise. Yep, just thought I'd bring over some flowers to brighten your day. Oh, thank you. I really needed it today. Oh no, why? Oh, it's no big deal. It was just a bit of a rough day, that's all. You should have said something. Here, let me take this. You go take a seat, put your feet up. I'm gonna cook us a nice meal and then we'll sit down and play a ball game together, okay? Oh, well actually I, no, it's okay, really. Let me be here for you tonight. Okay, well, thank you. Oh, I'll go take a seat then. Hey, Michael, mate, how are ya? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Look, I'm just ringing to let you know that I'm not gonna be able to make it to the poker night tonight, unfortunately. Yeah, my girlfriend needs me, so.
Yeah, no worries, brother. Hey, Jess? Hey, yeah, it's me. Sorry, I'm, I'm actually not going to be able to make it to study group tonight. Yeah, my boyfriend needs me, so... Okay, hear me out. Zombie apocalypse. Do you hide in a bunker with limited supplies or go out and risk your life to get supplies? Neither. I'd already have supplies on account of my having predicted the apocalypse a long time ago. All right. Do you have supplies in your bunker right now? No. Right then. If the apocalypse has hit out of nowhere, you had no warning. Of the two options, what do you do? I'd go out and get supplies. Yeah, me too. Fine, I'll argue the other side. I'd stay in the bunker because I value my life. Ah, interesting point. However, your life is actually... Wow. Are they at it again? Yeah, they've been at it for 20 minutes. I'm telling you, his best friend was Gerald. No, that's Hey Arnold. Arthur's best friend was Buster. They're always fighting with each other. I feel like they're not gonna make it. Hey guys, what's the business? How are you guys? Yeah, good thanks. Are you guys okay? Yeah, better than ever. I obliterated him. <laughs> no, you didn't. Is this food up for grabs? Okay, so I bought flour, milk, butter, and oil. Yum! I didn't buy eggs because I didn't have any. Oh, really? Yeah. Where'd you look? In the dairy section. In the dairy section? Yeah. Why would they be in the dairy section? Because eggs are from chickens and chickens are animals. <laughs> You know that's not how they decide what goes in the dairy section, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think. I was just like, oh, dairy section? No eggs? Guess they're out of eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Maybe we can make a cake without eggs. <laughs> We're already late. Like, I don't know, like half an hour or so late. True. Low key, like, buy a cake on the way? That's genius. I know. Well, that buys us some time. But, like, we should still go because we're still late. Oh, yeah, of course. Have you seen my keys? Inside each scene without a nickel to my name. I hopped a bus, here I came. Could be brave or just insane. We'll have to see. Hi, I'm Chris. Maybe in that sleepy town, he'll sit one day. The lights are down, he'll see my face and think of how he used to know me. Climb these hills, I'm reaching for the heights. I'm out of food. Marcus? Oh my guys, what can we do a backflip? No, we don't do a backflip, we passed out last time. Let's go to Marcus. Okay, this is way too neat for an ENFP's room. Well, 
can I mess up? What can I mess up? And there's an airplane. Ditch technology, grow your own tiny house from tiny things. <laughs> what do you reckon guys, ENFP hairstyle? Yeah. And another airplane. I sit down, he'll see my face and think of how he used to know me. Climb these hills, I'm reaching for the heights. I'm now an ISTJ. 